Hi, I'm Elisa. Welcome to day 209 of the 365 day Bible reading plan. Today's reading is titled A Warrant for Jesus Arrest. We'll be reading John chapter 7, verses 32 through 53 in the New Living Translation. When the Pharisees heard that the crowds were whispering such things, they and the leading priests sent temple guards to arrest Jesus. But Jesus told them, I will be with you only a little longer. Then I will return to the one who sent me. You will search for me, but not find me. And you cannot go where I am going. The Jewish leaders were puzzled by this statement. Where is he planning to go? They asked. Is he thinking of leaving the country and going to the Jews in other lands? Maybe he will even teach the Greeks. What does he mean when he says, you will search for me, but not find me. And you cannot go where I am going. On the last day, the climax of the festival, Jesus stood and shouted to the crowds. Anyone who is thirsty may come to me. Anyone who believes in me may come and drink. For the scriptures declare, rivers of living water will flow from his heart. When he said living water, he was speaking of the spirit who would be given to everyone believing in him. But the spirit had not yet been given because Jesus had not yet entered into his glory. When the crowds heard him say this, some of them declared, surely this man is the prophet we've been expecting. Others said, he is the Messiah. Still others said, but he can't be. Will the Messiah come from Galilee? For the scriptures clearly state that the Messiah will be born of the royal line of David in Bethlehem, the village where King David was born. So the crowd was divided about him. Some even wanted him arrested, but no one laid a hand on him. When the temple guards returned without having arrested Jesus, the leading priests and Pharisees demanded, why didn't you bring him in? We have never heard anyone speak like this, the guards responded. Have you been led astray too, the Pharisees mocked? Is there a single one of us rulers or Pharisees who believes in him? This foolish crowd follows him, but they're ignorant of the law. God's curse is on them. Then Nicodemus, the leader who had met with Jesus earlier, spoke up. Is it legal to convict a man before he is given a hearing, he asked. They replied, are you from Galilee too? Search the scriptures and see for yourself. No prophet ever comes from Galilee. Then the meeting broke up and everybody went home. Thanks for joining us for today's reading. And remember, everyone has an invitation to sit at Jesus' table. We hope you'll find your story and purpose in God's story.